I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. I'm going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? Sure, hit me. Okay, perfect. Number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? Oh my god, that's so embarrassing because I don't watch any of them. No? <laughs> no, I don't. I No, I'm sorry. No, no that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, number two, what are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? Uh, that you have to know about. You know something? I, that's another thing I don't really do. I don't really look on blogs and food websites too much. I, I used to do it, but I, I really don't anymore. Right. I'm sorry, this is really boring. No, no, no. Um, no okay, I'm... next. <laughs> well, you're too busy creating to, 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 to observe, I guess. No. I mean, I look, I look at stuff and people send me stuff, but there's nothing that I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Right. There are, I've seen some beautiful websites and stuff around, but remember, I'm old. I'm almost 50, <laughs> so I don't remember so well anymore. So, you know, I can't, I honestly don't remember. Oh, stop it. <laughs> no, no, number three. <laughs> Uh, who do you follow on social media that make you happy? Uh, oh my god, uh, that make me happy. Well, um, I follow a lot of people on on um, Pinterest and Instagram, and uh, again, I can't really say like one person, but I what really what I think is amazing is that there's so much talent out there. There's so many people that take beautiful images and make stuff on their kitchen table. And it always amazes me when I see all these people and, and, and you know, all this amazing talent that is all around the world. And the funny thing is that I, I kind of say that if, if the world was run by bloggers and Instagrammers, the world would be a much better place. Right, right, right. And it will be really um, uh, stylish. <laughs> Be a very stylish place. Be no wars, but it would be a lot of good food and very stylish. Right. Number four. What is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen? The item I use the most is an emulsion blender um, because I'm really into making mashes right now. So I may try to make a mash of absolutely everything. Um, <laughs> So I love that. Uh, what else? Um, I love my Le Creuset pots. They're really good. And um, an old whisk I have from my grandmother. Perfect. Number five, name one ingredient you used to dislike, but now you love. Tomatoes. And you, you didn't used to like tomatoes when you were growing up. I used to hate tomatoes. I used to think, well... It's still kind of a love-hate relationship. If it's a ripe, beautiful tomato, then I love it. But if it's one of those, you know, you get in the winter. I don't eat tomatoes in the winter. It has to be, like, fresh in the season. Just, you know, with a little olive oil, salt and pepper. Wonderful. Right. Perfect. I used to really hate them. <laughs> Number six. What are a few cookbooks that make your life better? Um, I love, um, and if, I think Donna Hay makes really good cookbooks. I think Jamie Oliver makes really good, good cookbooks. I also think Nadja Lawson makes really good cookbooks. And, um, oh, if I ever am to watch a cooking show, I would watch one with her because I think she's just, she's just so chic and stylish and, I just, I just love it when, like, a, like I, I trust her when she says that something is good. I kind of trust her right. because she, her, she, she kind of eats and breathes and lives, like, deliciousness, you know. <laughs> um, she's a very believable chef. And that's, I think that's the problem with uh, a lot of the cooking shows that I actually don't believe them. Oh, okay. So that's my, yeah. Right. And you're speaking of Nigella, correct? Nigella Lawson, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think also yeah. because her things are also very accessible too and there are actually things that we can try at home. 
Yeah, yeah, totally, uh, totally. Um, only thing she has a she has a recipe for pig ears. I'm not sure if I would do that. No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Maybe one day. Right, right. Number seven. <laughs> What song or album just makes you want to cook? Uh, it's like what I, I really love listening to Bossa Nova when I cook, um, like Brazilian music. Um, there's no artist or album, really. I just put it on a playlist. Um, but that's sort of, I don't know, it's kind of gets your hips going and it kind of makes everything a little easier. I also listen to that kind of music when I clean. Right, right. Because I feel like it's kind of the music that gives you a little energy and it's, you know, it's kind of fun if you can clean and dance a little and, you know, you drink some wine and <laughs> it makes cleaning and cooking so much more fun. Right. Uh, congratulations, Paul. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 